The housing market in Northeast Florida is heating up as the spring season approaches, but many home buyers are waiting to see what happens with prices and interest rates. The January stats are in, so let's see what's happening locally here in St. Johns County, Florida. Hi guys, Kim Devlin here in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or need any assistance with real estate or navigating the area, reach out anytime. You'll find my contact information in the description, or you can feel free and leave a comment below. The housing market is a topic that has been in the news a lot lately. Many saying that there is going to be a crash. The current state of the market is a complex issue that involves many factors, including interest rates, inflation, and the economy as a whole. One key factor affecting the housing market is interest rates, which are set by the Federal Reserve. When inflation rises, the Fed typically responds by raising interest rates to try to slow down the economy and reduce price increases. However, this can have a negative impact on the housing market, as higher interest rates make mortgages more expensive and can lead to a decrease in demand for homes, which is what we have been seeing here in St. John's County, Florida since the fall. This decline is continuing to level home values. The median price of single family homes fell slightly by 3% from December to January at 525,000, but is up 9.4% from this time last year. The ratio of active buyers to active sellers is the most important determinant of housing prices. When the ratio is high, you have widespread bidding wars that drive up the prices. But with mortgage rates rising over the past year, that ratio has fallen and therefore price growth has cooled off. However, both high mortgage rates have discouraged potential buyers and potential sellers. This shift in the ratio of active buyers to active sellers has only resulted in a deceleration of overall home price growth, not a full reversal. Median days to contract is up 140.9% from a year ago at 53 days, while closed sales are down 33.9% from a year ago. But this makes sense to me because buyer activity is down due to the higher rates. Inventory is up 190%, but it is still low at only 2.9 months. So it's still very much a seller's market. High mortgage rates are not only affecting home buyers, but also discouraging some potential sellers from listing their home for sale particularly those who would be selling their primary residence and would therefore have to finance their next home at these higher rates. As a result, the level of new listings we've seen in the recent months has been below normal. In January, new listings for single family homes in St. John's County are down 6.3% from a year ago. When looking at active listings, we did see a 114.6% increase from a year ago at 440 new single family home listings. However, these levels are still well short of the pre-pandemic levels and in most parts of Florida, we were considered to have an inventory shortage before the pandemic. So inventory continues to be a big problem in the county and in Florida. But there is good news. The affordability index inched up by 4%, indicating that St. John's County became slightly more affordable, though it still remains the most expensive area in the region. So will rates come down? That's the big question. Many home buyers have held off on buying a home in hopes that they will. There are concerns among some economists that the Fed may need to raise interest rates even higher than previously estimated to combat inflation. This could lead to a further slowdown in the housing market and potentially cause a recession. The housing market is closely tied to the broader economy and changes in interest rates and inflation can have a significant impact on its health. While there is no way to predict exactly how the housing market will fare in the coming months, it's important to stay informed and be prepared for potential changes. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment below or reach out anytime. You'll find my contact information in the description. Thanks as always for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one.